Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1277. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Wow, we have a, a great question here. Here's the original question, and it, it's a question about column of words that's 800,000 rows tall. And they're entering words such as false, all lowercase, false with just capital at the first letter, all caps, and then text, single words throughout the column. Same when it gets to true. We have to be able to distinguish between all lowercase, proper true, or all caps. Now, here's the problem they were running into. If I type false, all lowercases, when I hit Enter, that's a special data type in Excel. That is a logical value. It will always capitalize and center. They don't want it to get center, and they certainly don't want it to be all capitalized. Even when they came over to a column like this, and they had the logical value centered, when we go to sort this, right click, sort, A to Z, logicals are programmed to sort to the bottom. And that's not what they want. They want alphabetical, control Z. So this is what the end result looks like. Lowercase, then a single uppercase, all uppercase, and whatever other text. And then trues follow the same pattern. Finally, the thing they need to do is then count the length. Now here's an example, and they were trying the length function. But why is it given a 6? Because their solution was to put a space at the end of all the logical values. So if we come up here and type false, right now it's a logical value. But you put a space, never mind, that's text. So that was their solution. And their question says, how do when I get to counting this cell right here, how do I know to subtract 1 from len? Because that has an extra space. But when I get down to a regular word, not to subtract 1. Well, let's look at a few things. Let's look at this problem first. Now, if they actually have the column and they don't want to convert it and get rid of the spaces, then they can do this. Equals, well, we'll use the len function since we're counting the length of the text in the cell. And then we simply use the trim function. The trim function removes all extra spaces except for single spaces between words. Now, this column only has a single word. And in some cases, for the logical values, it has a space. So that's all we have to do. Close parentheses, close parentheses, Control Enter. See, it got the correct 4, even though there's an extra space there, because it trimmed it first. So when I double click it and send it down, boom, that works. And of course, this will sort correctly. If I right click Sort, A to Z, boom, it sorts correctly. Now. Probably it's best to get rid of those spaces so we don't have to deal with trim and things like that. So here's what we can do. We can highlight the entire column here, go up to the number group and the drop down and point to text. Or we can use the keyboard Control-1. Here's Format Cells, and we say Text. Now when we enter False All Lowercase, it'll stay all lowercase because it is text. It's not allowed to turn to a logical. Anything I put in the cell will become text. Now I want to come up here and, and I want to convert this. I don't, I don't want these spaces. So I'm actually coming to the side and say equals trim function. Right arrow, close parentheses, Control Enter. And you can imagine on 800,000, they could double click and send it down, right? And there we go. Now I'm simply going to point to the edge because I want to bring this down here, trim. Point to the edge and right click to drag down here. And when I get it right in the right position, I'm going to let go of my right click and up pops a special menu. And I'm going to say copy here as values only. And just like that, I have the text. And just like that, I have the text with no extra spaces. And I can see up here I still have my text. Now I can simply use equals len tab. Left arrow, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now, if I happen to have text for the words and falses and logicals as Boolean values, we can actually do a little trick here. We could highlight and go up to Data, Text to Columns, or Alt-A-E. Text to Columns, it's expecting to have some sort of delimiter between words, but we don't. 
click Next. You think that we could do some sort of space, but there's nothing after it to split, so that's not going to work. Next, and I'm going to import it as text. And Finish. And notice, when I import it as text, it totally gets rid of the extra spaces. Now I can do my LAN equals LEN tab, left arrow, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. And when I right click Sort, A to Z, it works perfectly. And of course, moving forward, the way we should do this is to highlight whatever area we're doing. Data Entry, Control 1, Text, click OK. And now when I type False, boom, it's false. True, enter, true, enter, test, rad, cool, false. So I've entered a bunch of text. And now, of course, it's all text. Right click, sort, A to Z, and boom. It's sorting exactly as we want it. And the len function is doing its job. All right, we'll see you next video.